Good morning folks, it is Monday morning, uh, yet again, where did we again go? And um, we're going to gather together to read again from the Psalms. This morning we're going to read together Psalm 7. So let's hear God's word together. I come to you for protection, O Lord my God. Save me from my persecutors, rescue me. If you don't, they will maul me like a lion, tearing me to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, if I have done wrong or if I am guilty of injustice, if I betrayed a friend or plundered my enemy without cause, then let my enemies capture me. Let them trample me into the ground and drag my honour in the, into the dust. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. Gather the nations before you. Rule over them from on high. The Lord judges the nations. Declare me righteous, O Lord, for my, I am innocent, O Most High. End the evil of those who are wicked and defend the righteous. Look for those, look for the, for, for you look deep within the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield, saving those whose hearts are true and right. God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. If a person does not repent, God will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow. He will prepare his deadly weapons and shoot his flaming arrows. The wicked conceive evil. They are pregnant with trouble and give birth to lies. They dig a deep pit to trap others. They fall into it themselves. The trouble they make for themselves, for others backfires on them. The violence they plan falls on their own heads. I will thank the Lord because he is just. I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Amen. Psalm 7. Again, another psalm which on the surface might seem quite harsh or quite difficult. A psalm that seems very violent nearly at times. But when you read a little bit at the very start, maybe it gives you a bit of insight into what's going on. A psalm of David, which he sang to the Lord concerning Cush of the tribe of Benjamin. It's thought that this psalm was written by David uh, at a time whenever he was being accused of trying to seize the throne from Saul and people were accusing him. David didn't try to seize the throne from, from, Paul, from, Saul, uh, from, from Saul. He was told in the end that he would be king and that was God's anointing. But he never tried to seize it. But yet he's being accused of that. He's being accused of, of trying to take it by deceit. He doesn't go out to judge the people themselves. He doesn't go out to look for justice himself. He asks for God to do that for him. God is the only one who is able to judge us. The only one who can sit impartially and judge fairly and evenly through us all. So David appeals to God. It just reminds us that, you know, people can be really nasty to us. People can be really horrible to us. And a natural reaction is to, to lash back, to give to them what they're giving to us, really, um, to want to get our own revenge. But we shouldn't. We should leave it with God. We should leave God to, to deal with things um, in the right way. It's interesting towards um, the end, it talks about those who are, who are trying to do this evil against David. They dig a deep pit to trap themselves and they fall into it themselves. The trouble they make for others backfires in them. The violence they plan falls on their own heads. You know, you, you think about the wee phrase that we use in, in earthly terms, what goes around comes around. Um, it's nearly that sort of sense, you know, just, just, just leave them be. Just, just don't you try and retaliate. It'll come back on them themselves. God will judge. And in that last verse, I will thank the Lord because he is just. I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Day in the day it is always God. It always has to be God because he is the only one who is just. We have to leave things in his hands. It's a hard thing to do sometimes. We want to retaliate ourselves. We want to, to lash back out. We want to 
as we say, stand up for ourselves and not let somebody walk all over us. But it's down to God. When somebody starts doing the gats, as Jesus said, turn your other cheek. Don't lash back. Leave it with the Lord. He's the only one who can do it fairly and justly, and he will. And he will always take care of things. And we will all have to answer for our actions one day. And that's a scary thought. But thank you that we have a just God. A God who gives us love and a grace. A God who cares. A few thoughts for the start of the week. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for another day. Thank you for your safety and provision to us overnight. Thank you that yesterday we were able to slow down and switch off. Uh, we were able to gather in a different way to around your word. Lord, as we head into a new week, we ask that you would go with us. We ask that you're, you would protect us, that you would guide us and direct us. That you would show us the new way to work, being considerate of others. That you would give us the opportunities to be able to speak for you through action and through word. That we'd be able to let others know just how much you love them this week. And Lord, if somebody does do something wrong to us this week, help us not to retaliate. But help us to leave everything in your hands. Knowing that you always are there for us. That you're the only one who is true enough, just enough, upright enough to do any sort of judging. Because we know, Lord, every time we point a finger, there's so many pointing back at us because we are imperfect. So, Lord, thank you that you are the perfect one and we leave everything in your hands. Go with us this week now, Lord, as we plan and as we prepare. And help us as we plan and prepare for what church might look like in a few weeks' time. Help us, guide us and direct us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, folks, for joining with me this morning. It's been great to have you here with me. Um, I trust that you are um, staying safe today and that you do know God's blessing. So take care. God bless. See you tomorrow.